we're back and right now we're at the University of California Davis uh, student housing development and I'm here to give you a tour and let you see all the artwork that we installed uh, in the past few days so hope you enjoy um, this is the main clubhouse and the surrounding student housing buildings that are going up I think they're starting uh, August 1st to open up their doors for living. Let's see if we come back up here. So this um, is the main clubhouse, one of the facilities that we always uh, take care of the art. Then I go inside. New construction here, so I'll probably be sharing our space with a few other contractors. Um, right in the entry you'll see Davis is a big biking community so we commissioned an artist to work with my concept of bike wheels and sort of uh, some motion coming in and out of the door with color plexi and a vinyl adhesive on the back. We thought maybe we would turn them, but it looked like it wasn't a good idea. So they're floating off the wall with a one-inch standoff, excuse me, a two-inch standoff on both sides. Very cool. So this is the main area, open two-story level, the gaming room. pools outside. I'll show you the non-art spaces first. It's a neat video gaming area designed specific for this job site. And these chairs, you got to find some and sit in them. Really one of a kind experience. Now we're heading into the video screening area theater. Alright, let's go and get the good stuff. It's going to be your main reception desk and the offices. This is a good sign by Enid Baxter Bladder. A last minute decision on this piece which was just a really good call on everyone's behalf. Thanks guys. Uh, Paula Bellicera, her bees, monoprints, and just really great framing by Helen Jones Gallery out of Sacramento. So, thank you guys. Reception. And we're gonna have some leasing signage here. Little nook in this is a Gina Werfel on canvas with floating plexi. And really looks nice at this seating area and perfect for the pendant. Um, they decided not to do anything for the corridor or the offices, so we're going to go on the other side of the building and check out the student lounges. It's the main conference room. And we also did a Joe Finkelman photography on canvas. Really interesting piece that ended up looking great on a non-glazed printed canvas. Um, you won't really be able to tell the texture behind the plexiglass, but it's real satiny. It's just uh, perfect application and everyone's really pleased with the size of the piece with standoff plexi in this little niche. Worked out really well. Big room. Okay. 
Um, this is a corridor that actually is going to be locked down. These panels on your right here are doors that fold into each other and close off this space. So it's accessed by the exit door there and with the restrooms and uh, elevator on the left. But uh, we have some artwork in here that's going to get locked down. Joan Mueller artist living in Austin, originally from Sacramento. Great old colorful pieces with again this print on canvas unglazed with the standoff plexi. And this is a little eating lounge share space. And we have another Mueller here that's framed. We're calling Blue Cloud. Originally on the other side, but uh, seen from outside at nighttime it was a great uh, idea from the designer and um, the client to move it to this space so it could be seen at all times. This is the computer carols and um, print copy nook here on the left. This is actually going to get treated with the Virginia Fleck uh, mandala collage of plastic bags. So we really are excited about that piece and I'm sure you don't want to look at a white wall anymore. But um, in the next few weeks we will have that one up and running. So it'll be a great completion for the space here. We're just going to walk through and head upstairs. I do. All right, upstairs is going to be the gym area. Extra set of restrooms. There's a small little lounge and a tanning facility and yoga space. We usually don't treat any of the gym area, but just so you can get a little look at it. I have a little nook here with some vending machines will eventually go. Restroom area. Elevator access. Great views all the way around the building. Lots of glass, exposed ductwork, concrete. I really want to keep the design simple and the artwork with that same feeling. This is, um, excuse me if I pronounce it wrong, Hearn Pardee, a professor at University of California, Davis, and these are actually collages on panel that we did a really interesting uh, floated and matted frame job on so they really looked more like objects than flat pieces of art, which they are not. Uh, this is a really neat little space. It's a, some kind of lounge. It's just second floor. Windows that open up and look over the entire development. One more pass through. So the, the artwork was just a little crazy funky. I think it, it really went well with the colors in here and the um, layout of the fabric. Excuse me, the carpet. Alright, one big piece left. We're all done. Give you a look over the edge. Woo. Really great space. Okay, so this is another Finkelman piece of uh, Davis landscape. It's about 50 by 70. The texture of the, I'm thinking that's wheat, just really pops off this canvas. Um, and color just picks up that grassy green yellow that's back there. So uh, originally it was slated for another location, but it really ended up working out perfectly. Okay, so thanks for joining us and we'll see you on our next location. Take care.